Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 46 years old and I live here in Blue Sky Derbyshire. I'm a little bit shocked we've got blue sky and it's December. <laughs> we had snow a couple of weeks ago, what's going on? What's going on? Right, so what you've come for is December's wonky broomstick subscription box yay <laughs> so as usual i'm always open and honest with you guys i have opened the box that's as far as i've got i haven't looked at the contents at all i've just literally just opened the box so i can take all my photographs and do the little advert that i do for the short just to let you know that there's a video available and um, that's it i haven't looked at the contents at all i do know what the theme of the month is because the wonky broomstick always does sabbat themed boxes when it's close to that sabbat so it's going to be all there we go right so here we go so the box as you can see is pretty discreet so if you're worried about what people might see in your post it's very discreet it does say on the address to return to the wonky broomstick and it is in small print just to let you know it does say it there in very small print and there's a sticker that just says thank you for supporting my small business um, let me just double check yep so yeah it's quite small print so you have to look for it it's not like it's all over the box and there's, there's no outer baggage or anything like that so are we ready this is the last box of this year I can't believe it I really don't know where this year has gone I know I keep saying that every year, but it's as I get older, I mean, my mum always used to say this, don't wish your life away. You know, when you, you're young and you go, oh, I can't wait till six weeks holidays. My mum always used to say, don't wish for your time to go because when you're older, it'll go fast. She was so true, so true. Because this year, it's like, it's gone like that. It really has, it really has. Right, are we ready? There we go. So I'll get everything out as I usually do, pretty quickly, and then go in detail with things. So we've got a little cute cat on the broomstick for the wonky broomstick. I will pop um, the website for the wonky broomsticks website because they don't just do these boxes. They also have a web store as well that sells all stuff for your magical needs, and I mean lots and lots and lots of stuff. I love it. Uh, yeah, you can even buy a, a broom, a full-size bre breezum, breezum. <laughs> I didn't air into the mix of breezum. Uh, full-size breezum, and uh, you can have it custom-made, so you can choose what colours you want, ribbons and such. Uh, you can have those, and yeah, it's a really good site. Uh, I will pop that link on the, my description box. So you can just click on that, just take you straight there rather than having to type it all in. And I also recommend uh, you joining the Facebook group. It's a really nice Facebook group as well. Just type in the wonky broomstick. There's only that one about and you will find it. There's also um, um, TikTok and I believe Instagram as well that they do. And they post more or less the same posts that do on uh, Facebook. I just personally prefer the Facebook group. It feels a little bit more personal. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Are we ready? Look, look, Gabin, Helen, look, Gabin. Let's get to it. So this is the ingredients list. So I'll move back so you don't don't cheat. This is a list of all the items that is in the box, and underneath it, I can't separate. Underneath it is the list of uh, the reasons why they've chosen those items. That's together I think I just can't separate them I'll do that in a sec I'll uh, get everything out this, yeah this is the sabbat card I can't get this out there we go and we've got a ritual and the card pull every month we get a card pull the tile and we've been collecting the tiles uh you know it's about tiles i love them everything looks like it's really well packaged oh that's squidgy <laughs> i didn't expect it to be squidgy Ooh. there we go 
my box is empty. Before we start, do you like my background? I did a little short just to show you what is there. I've got so I've got my Bobby Yoga hut. I brought that down. I've still got some. These are real, by the way. They're not fake. They're what I use for sewing. They're not rotten yet. I keep checking the bums and they're still okay. And this, you've probably heard me mention a few times that I have the Headingham, he, I can't say it, Headingham Fair cards with the, the months on. So this is December's. I thought, well, I have them on my altar. I thought, well, it'd be nice to share them with you guys. So this is December's. And I thought, pop them in my background so you can get to see them each month. Because I, I join each month from the boxes. So I thought it'd be cool to share them with you. Because it's normally only me that sees them, so I thought I'd share them with my friends. And this is, when you hear me say out a hunk a chunk of rose quartz, you just can't see this, this is just off, off camera. This is what I mean by a hunk a chunk of rose quartz. I actually got this off um, Total Tarot magazine. I couldn't believe it when it came through the post. I would expect a little tumble stone, you know, and we got this. <laughs> I love it, it just fits, just, just right, you know, it's... Massive, I love it. So I brought that one downstairs as well. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing what is actually behind me on my shelving unit, just have a look at my shorts and I did a little a, a, a little explore. The plates are still there from Samhain because I love those plates. Um, and like I say, I couldn't resist but leave my pumpkins up. <laughs> right, so the matter at hand, what we're here for. So parcels are there. By the way, this time of year is not my season, so I just want to get that out there. I don't like, I, I don't celebrate Christmas as like the Christian Christmas. Um, I've never liked it. As a kid, yeah, obviously I did. But as I grew up, I really do not like it. Um, I'm not one of these people who I, I hate people having a good time and anything like that. I'm not like a Scrooge or anything bar humbug. I like people to have a good time. I will give presents out and things like that. You know, I'm not a negative Nelly or anything like that. I just personally, I, I just don't like it. Um, but so in our household, it's like a Christmas free zone. It's lovely. There's no Christmas music. There's no tree. There's no nothing. And even with our spirituality now, Yule is one that I don't really celebrate in the wheel of the year out of all of them. Um, I have like on occasion felt inclined to mark it properly and I've really made myself do things. You know, I've bought like the oranges and I've done the clothes and I actually enjoyed it that year. Uh, that was a full year when I made myself celebrate every every turn of the wheel. And I managed to do it because sometimes you, you miss a spoke, don't you, for being at work and such. But that particular year, I celebrated every single turn of season in a special way. And you all, I made myself do it. And I loved it that year. Um, but yeah, I do struggle with this time of year. So it's not not my season. Um, but yeah, I... People say, oh, when you don't like Christmas and you don't like your people automatically presume, oh, what's wrong with you? you know, I just I just don't like it. Um, so every, everyone has their own likes and dislikes, um, but I do, I love people to have a good time. Um, I send out your cards uh, or I'll find really nice, like, wintry scene cards with, like, playing inside so I can write my own blessing on there uh, rather than Christmas cards. Because um, I celebrate Yule rather than Christmas. Um, so there we go. So yeah, it was, it's Little Haven in my home. It's still Samhain in my home at the moment. And you can tell with my t-shirt as well. Still, still horror themed. Right, back to what we're doing. So yeah, the, this is uh, one of the art prints that we've been getting each time there's been a sabbat. And it, or you can also get these in our diaries. We've been having them. So you can cut them out. What I do, I pop them in my frames like that. So even though I don't particularly celebrate it on my altar, I do have my altar is the only thing that does have aspects. So I've, I've got some holly and I've got some oak leaves and I've got some decorations of holly and oak. Um, I always have those together 
uh, and I changed the, changed the sides so I changed them round um, at this time of year um, but yeah that's the only place that I do have something but that's in like my ritualistic sense so perhaps I'll probably not do a ritual for you all but I will probably just do like a th ritual of thanks uh, you know that type of ritual rather than you know something else uh, but yeah these are brilliant these when you put them in it put them in a frame that look absolutely lovely so this is the Yule ritual from Wonky and it tells you everything that you need as you can see a lot there I absolutely love Wonky rituals because they're so in-depth and they usually tells you what you can do for if you're doing it outside and also if you're inside and lots of the times you can adapt them for your own particular needs so if you're it's like if I'm not able to do, do the ritual they provide you with enough herbs to go well I'll turn mine into a, a spell jar that's what I've done a lot of the times if I haven't done the ritual I make a spell jar out of things and everything you need for your ritual is usually in one of these baggies and I love them they are so beautiful the rituals they really are well written uh, so if you can't do this this year, don't think, oh, I can't do it. Save it for next year. Yeah, that's what I do. I save them all. I, I'll, if I'm not doing it now, I save them all in the box. I've got a box that I save all the ones that I haven't written out yet. But the ones that I want to do. So say I was going to do this one next week. I would write this out on an A4 paper because, as you can appreciate, it's tiny writing. So I would struggle to read that by candlelight, because I like to perform by candlelight. Write it out in my own writing, pop it in the poly pocket so I can see what I'm doing by candlelight. Plus it's added my own energy to it because I've written it out. And then I know what the spell is because I've written it, so I've learnt it as well. And any spillages, you just wipe it off your poly pocket. I always keep that in the poly pocket with the spell so then I know where it's come from. Bam, straight into my binder of my book of shadows. There we go. And I always leave like uh, an extra bit of paper in the poly pocket to write any reflections the following day, uh, any dreams that happened or thoughts and feelings. And I always like write, write the date, the time. If I can't be bothered to look up the moon phase or anything like that, if I will do that another time. As long as I've got the date and the time, I can do that retrospectively. So do things like that, you know, just little things. Um, that, that's what I do anyway. Um, I, as much as I love these beautiful uh, journals you can get, if you make mistakes, you know, you you can't tip X it out. it look a mess. And if you cross it out, it looks a mess. A4 ring binder, you can move things about and it just makes life so much easier. It really does. Uh, or even uh, on computer nowadays. So this is the the list. I'm holding it here so that you can't read it. <laughs> so it's the items that are in this box. So you've got quite a few items. And on the bottom, I'll show you, that is the website there. So it's the wonkyboomstick.com, uh, dot, dot uk. But like I say, I will pop the link in my description box. And this is a lovely bit of information. And I love that there's a pentacle. You see it in the background. I didn't notice it. You know when you're reading it, you don't particularly notice it. But it's not until I hold it up like that I can see it. Uh, but it explains everything, why everything's in this box and what it's used for. And that's what I love. it Because sometimes you get an item and you go, what on earth is that doing in this box? And then you read this and go, oh, that's why. Sometimes there's quite a personal reason why that item is in that box. And I love that. And it really is, really is beautiful. Uh, so yes, so yeah. And it's one of the creators of, uh, I'll just read it. Welcome to December's Wonky subscription box. I hope you enjoy the goodies enclosed. This one's box is dedicated to one of my favorite sabbats, Yule. There's me going, I don't like Yule, but this is what I love about witchcraft. Everybody's entirely different. I'll, that's why I love it so much. It's just so individual. I love it. And it's so accessible to all. 
it doesn't matter where you come from, your abilities, whether you're disabled in any type of way, you, it's still, you're still able to do it and I just love it, I really, really do, I really do. Right, let's go for this because I'm excited for this, this will go on my altar. And I do like these bags that they provided because um, I've been storing them away. Uh, I've got a little uh, wooden box that I store all that Mr. Bat, Pre Mr. Bat preciouses in. Um, and I keep putting them back in like that to keep them all safe. Because these were bracing, replacing my phrase cauldron ones. Because I had all like, um, is it pyro art ones that from Freya's cauldron she did. Um, I love them, don't get me wrong, they were beautiful, but these are just a little bit, a bit nice. <laughs> now that is beautiful. That is that is beautiful that. I love that. I do love that. Something I've never done, I've never done the Yule log. Um I've I've never I don't know why, it's just something I've never felt inclined to do um, it's like I get quite upset when I see like people cutting down trees I get a bit upset with that we went to the garden centre the other day and there's all these beautiful pine trees that have just been cut and I'm like it, it, it just made me upset to see uh, I, I went to get some bird food and just turned the corner and I saw all these pine trees that have just been just been cut Things like that upset me, you know. If they'd have been in a pot with roots, would not have affected me as much. But just being cut off just for the sake of a day and then they just go to a tip and it just makes me so, so, so mad. It really, really does. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I'm curious as what this is. Holly, berry and mistletoe, ancient wisdom, simmering granules. Oh, no, so it's, I've, I've never used simmering granules. So I'm presuming it's like, um, like, you know, if you put wax on one of your burners. I don't know if you out well you can see it. Um, let me see if you can get into it without spilling it everywhere. I was lucky enough for um, not last year, I didn't get any last year, but the year before. Um, oh, oh, crack, you can smell that already. Uh, one of our florists had got some mistletoe and it was like, so it's something like the 23rd and they were like shutting, that was like the last day. And she got five bunches of mistletoe. And they were like, oh, how much is mistletoe? And she's like, oh, 20p foot lot. I'm like, what? <laughs> 20p foot lot, I want to get rid of it because it's. Uh, it'll be dead by the time the shop opens in January. 20p foot long. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> so I've got the <laughs> massive mistletoe. I never need to buy mistletoe ever again. So yeah, I like it. In, um, I use a bit in my, um, you know, your black salt. Really good for in that. So yeah, that's... Can you see that better? It smells amazing, but I've never used it. So it's... It's, it matches my nails. Yeah, I my nails, I've, I've done it myself, my nails, you can tell, can't you? Oh, it's making a bit of a mess. I'll, what I'll have to do is, when I've done that, shown you this, I will pause my video and just wash my hands. <laughs> and then I'll come back to you. Because it's, uh, be careful when you open it. It smell that though that smells beautiful so I'm just gonna because as you know I never ever edit uh, never ever edit my videos that is one of the things I never do because I like you to see the real me what's and all and that smells gorgeous so I'm just gonna pop you in a quick pause I'm just gonna wash my hands because I've got green hands <laughs> and I'll be right back see you in a minute I'm back in the room hey <laughs> I can't believe that. My hands are clean now. <laughs> that smells absolutely gorgeous though. I love that. So yeah, holly, berry and mistletoe, simmering gran gran granules. I can't speak today. 
Um, so yeah, I presume you use that in the same way, I'll have to look that up, in the same way as like a wax melt, pop it on your burner, um, you know, and then you candle underneath and it'll do that. I'll look it up, because there's not much on there and I can't read that. Oh, oh hang on, I can see instructions now. Place, place one or more teaspoons, hang on, of granules in the well of your oil burner. Yeah, I'm get yeah. Do not add water, like candle. Yeah, it's like how I said, so you pop it instead of like, well you would do wax, but you don't put any any water in. I would put water in anyway, it's gone a bit funny. Right, so I'll open this, because I'm wondering if this goes with that. Have I done my scissors? I did have my scissors a minute ago. I've lost everything today. Is it? Oh no, it's not. That's done me one. I thought it was not. <laughs> I don't reach enough. Let's off the size, please. beautiful box I love that so you could always cut that out and use that as a picture or something you know you get a little frame that'd be a lovely little little picture that beautiful that oh wow so winter solstice candle uh, cranberry orange and cinnamon I said cardamom. Is it green? Yeah, it's black green. I thought, you know, because I'm looking at it with, I've got um, I've got like grey trousers on, and I'm holding it like that with my hand. It looks black. But I hold it up there, I can see it's green. I think is it catching it green? Let's have a smell. Ooh, ooh, that smells nice. That smells nice. So you can use this as an offering as well for your yule. Um, you know, you can pop your own oils on there. Sometimes I will light, light a bay leaf with an intention on, with an offering candle. Even one like this that's already got pre-scent on. Light it on there, like that, and then if you've got, if it depends on how the bay leaf will catch and then uh, pop it into a cauldron and then set my wish free um, outside but sometimes I'll pop them bay leaves on the top it all depends on what I'm wishing for and what I'm wanting um, sometimes I'll pop I'll pop the bay leaves inside and then light the candle as well as the bay leaves so that the intention is lit in there as well but they're beautiful I love that. Don't forget you can pop some oils on there as well. I like to, if I'm using um, an oil on a candle, don't forget you can do your, you know, going that way for positive and the other one for negative, you know, to bring in and one to take away. So when you doing it or you can do like your three drops for your numerology I can't say it numerology you know things like that so you can add all things like that in and perhaps put a little bit of flour in there flour not you know not a flour that you cook with but some flowers uh, I've got a beautiful it was actually from TK Maxx you might have seen it a beautiful pomegranate um, candle um, so what I did is I bought some pomegranate oil and I've got some pomegranate flowers pomegranate flowers have arrived quite late so I've been using the candle already um, because it was part of the rituals that I've been doing I've been integrating anyway um, so I've been using pomegranate oil minus the flowers but I had a pomegranate fruit instead 
long story. Um, but yeah, the pomegranate flowers arrived yesterday, so I'm going to be using the pomegranate oil, pomegranate flowers on this beautiful candle. It's about like that. It's a big candle and it's the shape of a pomegranate. Uh, absolutely love it but it's something that I can fill up because I like to make my own candles so I can make my own pomegranate scented candles candle inside that container or if I wanted I could just like make a votive type one to stand inside that so it's like a holder if you're with me um, there's so much you can do with candles you know you don't just have to go oh it's already done and just yeah, there's so much you can do with candles. There really is. I, I love, love candle magic. And it's like, even if you just want to light it, you can just even use that, you know, just circling, you know, to get rid. When, you, when you've got a lit candle, I mean, not do it as fast as what I do. When you've got a lit candle, you can say words of banishment and then encouraging things to come into your life you know going clockwise so and change hands whatever suits you or if you're unable or you just get a feeling that no I don't like that do what hands I tend to do my left hand for if I'm banishing things and just circle it how many times I feel that I want to banish things and get things away from me and I'm thinking it in my head or say it out loud and then I go with my right hand to bring things into my life and that's with a lit candle just an ordinary lit candle you don't have to put anything special in there um, but that's what I like to do with candles Candles, I love candle magic I'm a fire girly and I, I really do like Madame Pimita's um, candle magic book um, it's not a book of magic spells which is what I enjoy she gives you outlines, the you know, the skeleton of a spell. And then she gives you all the things you need to be able to make your own of that variety of spell. And that is what I like, rather than just giving you all these spells. She encourages you to make your own. She gives you the tools to go out and make your own. And I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed her books. Here we go. So this is the baggie that goes with the Yule Ritual. It look, actually, it looks like a tree, doesn't it? It looks like a Christmas tree. I know what that is, but look, we've got green bag. It looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's me being a handed So you can save these and use them as like stencils for if you're doing any any art or anything like that because it's like it's like a, a plywood type thing so if you're not very good at drawing you can use these to keep drawing around and it's got a sigil that they've created for you all so you can create your own sigils for you all yeah there's loads of ways how to create sigils I do it like you write your word out and then you get rid of all the repeating words and then you get rid of the vowels um, that's what I, how I do it there's so many ways so I'm just getting everything out so I can see what we've got okay, okay. so we've got a lovely green bag so these bags are absolutely perfect. You know, if you've, um, you want to do like a, a bath tea, as the fashion will be called now, you know, when you want to put herbs in your bath, uh, rather than just popping a load of petals in your bath, pop them in one of these. It will save you so much mess. It will save you block drains and it'll save you having to get all your herbs and your flowers out of your bath because it'll all be contained in here. And because it's mesh, all the goodness will come out minus the flowers. And if you're unable to have a bath, if you can only have a shower, just do exactly the same thing, but tie it to your shower head so that the water comes from the shower head and it's still doing the exact same thing. Again, if you're unable to have a shower, 
pop it in whatever water you use to have your wash for whatever reason if you're disabled and can only have a wash pop it in the water that you have a wash with so have like your wash wash and then have a spiritual wash afterwards so pop this in let it soak a little bit and then have a cleansing wash with this water afterwards have a foot soak with it if you're able to again pop it in here and do what you're able to do just because it says oh it's for baths doesn't mean it's for a bath you know uh, do do what you can with what you've got and think outside the box and make it work but these guys I save them I mean with all the boxes that I've got I've got a lot of these so I mean they're good for a couple of uses as well because don't forget you can also pop some essential oils as well so when you've got your herbs I always tend to put the same oil that so if I'm using say if I'm using jasmine lavender and rose petals in here I will use jasmine lavender and rose pet and rose essential oils on them in this bag if I'm doing it that way but nine times out of ten I tend not to I'll just enjoy the herbs because what I've got for my garden um, so I'll pop them in and that's my, sp my spiritual bath you don't need to put salt in here uh, it's just your herbs it's just just so that you're not scooping everything out of your bath and it's not all stuck on you um, I what I like to do is you know with rosemary rather than taking bits of rosemary off you know you get a big sprig of rosemary rather than taking bits off I like to bathe with sprigs of rosemary so get really long sprigs of rosemary especially if you want to do anything for like protection bathe with that that is beautiful to bathe with long sprigs and then you can just take them out again if you've got the shower tie a piece of rosemary to your shower head or just simply hold it and let the water mix with your rosemary pop it in a bowl or pop it you know pop the rosemary in a bowl of water and then douse yourself that way rosemary like that in, in foot in foot spa but it's just easy to keep rosemary is in a long sprig and then there's like hardly anything will come off it unless you like aggravate it um, but otherwise break it up and pop it in one of these because it'll go everywhere but yeah save these baggies because they're they're amazing for you know, I, it's just in my mind because I had a soak in the bath yesterday you see so I thought I'd just mention that um, it's a good little trick um, you can get the tea bags but they're usually a little bit smaller um, so you're limited as what you can put in so big bags like this it, it allows because my roses are quite big it allows the herbs and the petals to expand so that you've got a really you know the water can really slush about so big bags like this are perfect so just save things uh, you never know you might need them for, for, for things like that so we've got a bag of yule herbs so I like I say I probably won't be doing a ritual uh, I'll just be saying like Think words of thanks so it won't be a ritual of, of sorts it'll just be something more personal along that lines uh, I will probably just do something like a spell jar uh, just to witness like the turn of the year and for that I will use the Yule herbs that we have got uh, looks like we've got some cinnamon in there uh, we have got an abundance baggy Go. so this is a mojo bag I'll open this so that you don't have to so don't open yours because this is spelled baggy pop yours on your altar when you're doing your ritual okay I'm opening mine so that I can show you what yours looks like here we go these velvet baggies are beautiful keep to keep like spell jars, crystals, or like mojo bags for this reason. But these are the tea bags that that was on about for you know for the bath. See the size difference. So it is literally a tea bag. So I can't. So this is what it, it 
disposable tea bag looks like. It's one with a drawstring, so you pop your own herbs in. So it's a beautiful mixture of herbs for abundance. That's been spelled with some crystals. So try and show you the crystals. So there's some crystals at the bottom. So if you're not bothered about this pouch and you're a bit short on crystals, they're a nice selection of crystals that are aimed for abundance. So if you're wanting to make your own uh, spell ritual for abundance, you could break open this and you've got some crystals to get you started there. And you've also got some herbs to get you started. So if you wanted, you could turn this into a spell jar. It's entirely up to you. But bear in mind that it's already had a spell worked on it. So I would cleanse, make sure you spiritually cleanse the crystals first. Uh, I would personally give these herbs back to nature because I've already had a spell worked on it. But you could work out what herbs perhaps have been used in there. It smells beautiful, that. There we go. I just like to show you what's inside these so that you don't have to open them. Uh, I've got a red candle, charcoal disc, and we have got crystal charged Yule water. Can you see that? I have a lot of these at the side of my bed. I like to spray them before I go to sleep. I have some at my altar, some at the side of my bed. And these are beautiful, let me just... Beautiful. And then what I do is when, you know, when they finish these, thoroughly clean them out afterwards, take the label off, use them for something similar. I always try and keep the items that I've used for something similar, um, you know, just in case there is any like similar residue. Uh, as You know, something might leave something behind, uh, as in like a little bit of scent. So I would use this again for like another spray bottle for, that, you know, for cleansing. Uh, that is beautiful, that. I love that. Uh, we've got your oil. I love these little bitty droppers. Again, if you feel you, if you've used this up, save your droppers, especially this size, because it's very rare you can get them this size. Oh, smell that. That is, oh, that is beautiful. That I love that. I'd like that as an aftershave for my husband. <laughs> I love that. So you get this. Uh, come on focus there we go so we've got a this tells you all what you've got in that little baggie uh, your yule baglet contains crystal charged water made with moon water oils essential oils and crystal chips uh, wooden yule sigil abundance mojo bag it just says made with relevant herbs and crystals to attract prosperity and abundance. Uh, Yule oil, Yule herbs, candle. Uh, there we go. So, and then it tells you all about your Yule Sabbat baggy. And there we go. I think that's it. Now, the one thing I haven't done yet, I haven't read the card. Each, each month we get a card pull and this is a card for the Wonky Collective for December and it is Broken Arrow, Embrace the Energy of Peace. Around this time of Yule we find ourselves all too often swept away with the stress of the season, striving to make this holiday perfect rather than using Yule for what it is about. Spend some time this Yule to embrace the peace of winter. Just like Mother Earth, take some time to slow down and enjoy the world around you. Remember, less is more this Yule. You do not need the best gifts or the biggest tree. 
Simply enjoying yourself is all that matters. Blessed be. From Abigail Cunningham, Priestess of Morrigan, card drawn from Angels and Ancestors deck by Kyle Gray. That is beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Full of meaning, especially for this time of year. Right, that's it. That's the last box of this year. Can't believe it. <laughs> Can't believe it. And yep, yeah, and I've reached over 900 subscribers. So yeah, I want to thank each and every one of you. You are all truly amazing. And I thank and love each and every one of you. So thank you so, so much. And I can't wait to see what next year brings for me and for you. So thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Please keep your loved ones safe. And I hope you have a magical day. Thanks for watching. Bye.